guys and welcome back to another video. Thanks for tuning in today. So for today's video we're going to do another modification. So on the comments of my first modification video, um, it was uh, Twice the Jade Productions. Just wanted to give you a shout out there. I am making a modification. If you noticed on the previous video um, with the action camera it shows the stock leg in there um, and I wanted to get that out of the screen. So what I've done is I've actually purchased some new landing gear for the uh, Promark. So this is the original leg just for time saving. I went ahead and removed the, the stock legs. Um, these are actually for a DJI um, 2. Uh, I think it's called the Vision 2. This is the landing gear. And as you guys can uh, probably see here, uh, the holes are roughly the same. Everything's exactly the same. Um, also for time saving, I went ahead and actually put them on but I'm going to show you guys how to put them on um, so you can see there is quite a difference in the height as well and I'll show you a picture once I'm done of the difference it adds about another almost two inches um, underneath the camera so that way when you land the camera is not right up against the ground it seemed like with these original legs that um, the camera was sitting really super low so I wanted to make sure to protect the camera but also get a good wide angle shot. So I'm going to pause here for just a second and then we're going to spin around to the Promark and I'm going to show you how to install these new legs. Alright guys, so as I was saying before, for time saving sake, I went ahead and removed off the stock legs so they just fit right here like normal. And all you have to do is just unscrew those two small screws in there and then just set those aside. So the way these install is they're actually really really super easy. They just basically hover right over the same spot that the originals do. Um, to get these on you kinda gotta angle the screws just a little bit so try just putting in like the front one screw it down a little bit and then but not too much and then that way you can get your second screw down there. So I'm going to screw these on and we're going to pause and we'll be right back. Alright guys, so I've got one side of the new landing gear installed. Um, so as you can see here, um, it looks a little bit different. The only difference is this little knob here doesn't fit into that original hole, but otherwise the, uh, the holes line up uh, pretty good. Like I said, just tighten down that top one and then leave it a little bit loose so that way you can line up the the hole and the screw um, with the way they came with these screws and these are meant actually for the DJI but I think these are a number four screw um, and the ones inside of here are uh, I believe a number two screw but they they still work and they keep everything in place um, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put the other one on and we'll be right back after that alright guys we're done putting on the uh, the new legs here so as you can see we're all done they fit exactly into the spots. Um, be a little careful when you're screwing these in um, just so you don't go too deep and strip out the uh, the plastic in the, uh, the shell of the actual drone here. I'm going to hook the uh, action camera back up here real quick and we'll flip it uh, upright and then I'll show you guys what it looks like. So this is what our project looks like um, completed right here and uh, as you can see we've got a much better amount of space between the camera and the ground. Here's what the old leg looked like previously so you can see you've, you've added about an inch or two eh, maybe about an inch, inch and a half and then also the leg was right here before so it was in the way of the camera. So now it sits farther wider and out more and uh, it almost has a uh, DJI kind of phantom look to it. Um, it came with these little pads for the bottom here and these legs they ran me about six dollars on Amazon um, and this these were Amazon Prime eligible so I will put the uh, link in the description of the legs down in under the video for you guys. Alright so we're uh, again we're all done with the project here we got the legs installed it was actually fairly easy to replace these. These again are actually for the, the DJI 2 
Um, I think it's called the Vision 2 is what it's called, the, the version, but they're uh, extendable legs. Um, it's pretty nice and secure, you know, it's not real super top heavy. And uh, these guys, they're, they're pretty, pretty decent, you know. And I'll put it on a white piece of paper here so you guys can see. So, as you can see, the uh, camera's got a lot more clearance than it used to. Um, before, with the old legs, um, right here, they would go right here, and the camera only had about, you know, just a, a very small amount of clearance. So if you made a big crash, you know, you, or, you know, you hit some tall grass, maybe with some water in it or something like that, you're able to, you know, damage your camera. So that's, and again, I wanted to be able to get some really cool wide angles on there. All right, so again, guys, I just wanted to say uh, thank you for tuning in today. I hope everybody had a happy holiday. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you really like the video, please hit the subscribe button down there. And there is a little bell next to the subscribe button. And that will let you know when there's new videos for me that are available. I try and upload at least a couple of videos a week, most of the time on Thursdays and Fridays. Those are my days off during the week. So I kind of got to space them out there. But... Thank you for all my new subscribers, and thank you for everybody that watches my videos. I do very much appreciate that, and I appreciate all the subscribers. Love all the comments. Um, thank you guys. You guys are awesome and uh, very supporting of me. I appreciate it very much. I'm going to try and get this out later um, this weekend to try and get some footage for you guys so you can see what the action camera looks like up in the air um, with the new legs on there so you can kind of see what the picture looks like without the leg uh, looking like it's wobbling back and forth in the picture there. Um, so I'm going to try and get that out this weekend. If I can't, I apologize ahead of time. We had a big snowstorm that uh, rolled in today to Colorado. Um, it's dumping quite a bit of snow and it's going to be really, really cold. So the weather's really going to um, depend on whether I can get out there or not. But thank you very much, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video and have an awesome day.